I hope you're all, all ready for another fun paint pour. Um, for this pour, a bit of a shout out to Lee at Massey Art Studio. Um, for the sixth pour of Christmas, he poured on an ostrich egg um, and the color combination that he used, he referred to as dragon's egg um, colors. And it was just a beautiful combination. So I have tried to come close to those colors. They're not the exact paints he used, but they are similar in tone. Um, so we have Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue, Liquitex Basics in Deep Violet, Arteza Mars Black, Arteza Crimson Red, my new, one of my new favorites, Folk Art Treasure Gold in Fire Opal. And the last color is Deco Art Americana Decor in Copper. So these are just beautiful colors. Um, I'm going to be pouring on a vase and a canvas together. Um, the drip from the vase will go onto the canvas. So I'll get a two for one out of this, hopefully. And we'll see how that works. I'm really excited about these colors. Be sure when you're working with um, glass that you have thoroughly cleaned this glass and that you've put gloves on your hands um, and cleaned the glass thoroughly with an alcohol-based cleaner, a Windex or rubbing alcohol or something to get all the oils from your skin and anything else off the glass. That's going to let the paint adhere better. You're going to get a much nicer result. Um, and then I made sure that my vase was nice and level. Um, because then the paint will fall off the vase, the back, the bottom of the vase, evenly around the sides more easily. Um, so you sort of wiggle it until your level tells you it's ready to go. So I'm going to move some of this off to the side just a bit. And we are going to start filling our cup. And I think I'm going to start with... Plenty of paint, probably way more than I need. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side here. So it's not my way. And we are gonna pour this similar to a ring pour and hope it comes out beautiful on the bottom. Remember, whenever you're doing a vase, that vase is going to continue to drip and drip and drip for quite some time, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or more after you stop. So what you see now is not exactly what it's going to end up because it's going to pull that down. Um, but you just hope that you get something really gorgeous in the end. We're just going to let that sit for a minute let a good bit of it run down before we move the vase and start working with the canvas. If you can tell but it's already very different looking than it was when it first started but I'm liking the coloring. That is going to be really really pretty. I'm going to just do a little break line here. So 
ready to pull that gauze off here. So I want to very carefully pull up this, and then I can start working with what's underneath. I'll let that go and finish over on my dry table. That'll be dripping over there for a while. And we'll go look at that again when we're done the painting. All right. Now I think I wanna, I'm not sure there's enough paint on here for the whole canvas. So what I may do is refill up my cup just a little here. to that center just to give us a little bit more to work with here. And it should help push out that other paint. I'm going to torch this. real quick. So I'll put a little on these corners because the corners are always the hardest to get. And I'm not really putting a flow extender on here so I'll give these corners a little head start. That'll be better. All right so let's start tilting this guy around. Oh I'm loving the colors. tight one for this, this thin bit of paint. So much, even with all that added paint I put on, we are just barely having enough to get to that last corner. Of course the paint is very thick, and I like it sort of on the thick side when I'm doing the vase, it sticks better. Sure, they're okay. 
Okay. Oh, oh, that is so torch out. And our vase on the other table is still dripping, people. I'm watching it go. Touch that up again in a second. See, while we're doing this, we can let that finish its drip. Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous. This is all gonna be very gorgeous. Let me get some torching done here. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. Right, let me go over and torch the vase real quick. Oh, we're draining beautifully over on the other table. All right, let me take off my gloves and I will take you in for close-ups on both of these. All right, let's get you down here. Oh, look at this. Sorry for the glare, but... Oh, look at these lines. They're just so beautiful. Let me see if I turn off this one light. Get up. That makes it very dark, but not so much glare. Look at these lines. Oh, the color combination. The brightness of the violet right there. So stand out. And there's some of that red. Oh. Just gorgeous. And hold on a second, let's go over the vase. And here is our vase. Now, again, it is still dripping, so it may change some, because you can see, look how much has dripped just since it came over here. But look at the beautiful lines so far that are forming on this vase. I am so, so happy about this. Just gorgeous. All right get over there a little. Oh, it is. It's just gorgeous, people. Okay, we're going to let this finish dripping and drying a bit, and the canvas drying, and then we'll take some pictures. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.